Our scripture passage today deals with uh, Paul writing to the church in Thessalonica uh, about the day of the Lord and specifically about their fears of it. Uh, it seems like from kind of the context within this letter that there were individuals who were either writing to them, uh, either claiming to be Paul or uh, claiming to be someone of authority who was kind of stirring up this fear in them that the world was coming to an end and that they had kind of been left out of all of it. And Paul's trying to reassure them that, hey, you know, that, that hasn't happened. Stand firm in your faith and just trust what we said earlier on trust that you know that there is a process and signs that are specifically uh, related to that that haven't happened in this period and you shouldn't be panicking about all of this uh, and I, I think that this is a, a good story uh, for us even today and really at a lot of points throughout history because oftentimes when things start going absolutely crazy in the world uh People, especially within the church, start talking about uh, that, wondering, you know, is this the end? And you even have some people who might even come out and start preaching that we are living in those end times and that Jesus is coming around tomorrow and, and all this other type of stuff. And it, it kind of builds this sort of fear mongering uh, amongst us. And it's really not something that should be done. Uh, you know, I mean, Jesus himself said that he doesn't know the hour. And if he didn't know the hour when he was on earth, then we surely aren't going to, you know. Our our job is to be watchful and be mindful, but to mostly focus on just living our every single one of our days, serving God and seeking after Him, and just trusting that all of those things uh, will take care of themselves. You know, we really can't control uh, anything that happens with the end of the world, and in that way, we really shouldn't necessarily be getting freaked out or trying to or panicking or trying to prepare in some sort of way way because the reality is is that you know it, it's going it, when it happens it's going to happen and and we probably won't know until we're it's literally happening uh so i i think especially uh now uh with everything that's kind of been going on you know we've had we've just coming out of a pandemic and you know we still have the effects of that around uh you know we've seen a war uh you know there's a lot of fears surrounding that war that's going on you know it's involving russia a major power and ukraine of course and then the, as you kind of start looking around you start hearing about either more wars that have started back up uh, you know like azerbaijan and armenia they have been kind of fighting on and off now for a couple of years. And, you know, you start hearing all these other rumors of other wars starting. I mean, I saw a news article this week about, you know, Greece and Turkey potentially getting into a conflict. It, and it starts making you wonder, you know, is this it? Is this really the start of that process where Jesus comes back? And, and I think for us, instead of sitting down and getting really concerned and really focused with it and getting you know, afraid or making other people afraid, we should instead be focusing more on what we can do to follow God, follow his teachings, follow Jesus's teachings, and help our fellow men come into relationship with him. Because that is what is expected of us. It's not that we correctly predict uh, when the end is coming, when the end is going to be there. Uh, you know, that is not a prerequisite at all for being a Christian, uh, for following God. And it's really, it's nothing in there that God is expecting of us. You know, when he gave the, when Jesus gave the Great Commission, it wasn't, you know, to be watchful for the end times for when I return. It was go out and make disciples of, make disciples of all the nations of the world. And that is, should be our focus. That should be our central focus in what we are moving towards and we should do that boldly and with the assurance that no matter what happens god is going to take care of us even as as the world falls apart and i think if we do that regardless of what happens and whether it is the end or not we'll find that we will be rewarded in the end in the end by following that uh great commission and seeing doing everything we can to see it through amen and now i'd like to invite you all to join me for our last song today <laughs> 